So now recording with the Mate 60 Pro, getting the new Harmony S of next beta 5.0 beta here uh, that hopefully is fixing some bugs like the recording bug that I had with 4K 60 frames per second. I'm using 4K 60 frames per second right now with the main camera sensor and we had some stuttering at 4K 60 when I was switching to the ultra wide angle and then to the other cameras there so let's see if this has been fixed so this is the ultra wide angle at 4k 60 right now and let's try to zoom in maybe on this plant there or this moon drop kind of box that i have there so let's try to go into four times switch lenses and 10 times and so far it looks not stuttery, a little bit like when I go into 1x, then it's a little bit stuttery there. Not sure if it is also in the resulting video. And what do you think about the audio quality? Did they fix the audio quality? Because this was an issue also with one of the previous firmwares. Hopefully they did so. So yeah, the new update here on the Mate 60 Pro. Let's check out what they fixed else. So as you saw, they've really fixed the uh, issues that were there with the firmware and uh, the recording at 4K 60 frames per second. So this is the new version 500110, which should be equivalent almost to what they released as, uh, yeah, how they are calling it, uh, Pioneer Edition Mate 70 Pro. So what we have here with this new version is the contacts app is back as an icon on the desktop which is nice then they improved the call quality as well as optimized the display on, uh, yeah, on certain screen optimization screen icons and optimizations of the system this is everything that is written here and yeah let's see what we can see here first of all the contacts app is there so i can go into contacts there but i also noticed that in the app gallery the notes app is finally back and this is uh, one app that i'm using constantly with my matepad paper to write down notes and it's super that i can sync it up now here and i can go into certain kind of things this is now like a predefined one but yeah you can uh, sync up all your notes which is a nice app so this is back in the app gallery otherwise here uh, games still an issue they don't run for me when i'm here in germany for some reason either they need a chinese phone number or they need some chinese service that i cannot reach and so uh, yeah it's not doing anything for me here then yeah the animation here you can see like going into the search super super quick like even I think faster than on iOS and uh, uh, calendar card stuff so when we go in here and uh, go to add calendar not card stuff card stuff account still an issue Huawei come on fix it the server address can I cannot put it in because I can click on it nothing happens username I can type in something password I can type in something and the name of the calendar i can type in but the cult of address i cannot type in it's grayed out so i hope this is still a bug otherwise why adding it there in the menu so please fix this as well so i can add my next cloud calendar in here otherwise in terms of applications very very smooth running very very smooth did i notice anything new there qq is there now it's also an early access right now uh, should work fine but you need a chinese number it's only available in chinese right now there's no international version the same goes for uh, wechat still bugging me about uh, yeah you have to have a chinese number there and i cannot change it to another country right now so hopefully this will be fixed at one point as well let's go into the app gallery to see some coming soon apps that are uh, reported here as you see so some of those apps are probably all chinese market um then some people were asking me about the uh, easy exit app i think it's called if you translate it one to one so even if i type in the chinese name for the easy exit app you see that it is not there yet you can see this is the exit symbol and the rest should be like easy exit uh, it's not there yet so this um, android kind of vm uh, is not there or gbox equivalent is also not there like i can type in gbox type in gbox to see if it's there it's still not there you can see so this is something that we have to wait and if you go into your me tab you can find early access you can find some applications that are listed there also sometimes wechat and qq get some updates here so make sure to install them if you're really using them there's some uh, symbols that i might recognize there of some apps and some that you can see here but uh, yeah 
it is still missing this uh, vm that would be very, very cool to try it out so if someone has the link has the possibility to do that uh, to do that then um, tell me about it otherwise yeah everything's running nice and smooth didn't notice anything else besides like the camera fix there uh, with the video mode in 4k 60 that works uh, fantastically smooth here now without any issue sometimes a little stutter when it's switching lenses but it's way way better than it was before with the android um, um, based uh, camera application and uh, the rest yeah of the system is running smooth and nice uh, i keep you updated if i find anything new here on harmonize 5 running on my mate 60 pro the chinese version of course because uh, yeah harmonize 5 so far uh, we are still waiting for uh, what will happen on a global release so that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye